What's going on you guys? Welcome back to 3D Print Farm. As you can see, I'm sandwiched between my two most favorite printers, the Elegoo Mars and the Elegoo Saturn. We're gonna take a look at the Saturn. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm. You're probably asking yourself, hey Garrett, is this the brand new Elegoo Saturn with 4K monochrome screen? No, it's not. This is actually the Elegoo Saturn beta model, but it's going to be very similar to the 4K monochrome screen model. The first thing you'll notice right off the bat is the USB port right up front on the beta model. Unfortunately, it won't be that way on the monochrome model, but it will be on the side. Some people like it on the side, some people like it on the side. Some people like their USB drives on the side, some people like them on the front. I prefer it on the front. Some of my friends like it on the side because it doesn't get in the way of the resin tray as you're pulling it out and dribble resin all over your USB stick. Now, I've been doing a lot of testing with this beta model and actually I'm pretty thoroughly impressed. It only has a 2K screen, but it prints some pretty stinking amazing prints. But first, let's go over the specs on this guy. This dude is super heavy. It looks almost exactly like an Elegoo Mars. You've got the same cool heavy cover. Notice the spin move. You've got dual Z rails here. Check out this build plate. The build plate works very similar to the Elegoo Mars. But check out the size differential here, folks. You can almost get two, almost, almost two and a half maybe on this. So I would consider, I would consider the Elegoo Saturn more of a mid-sized printer. I'm sure you've seen some of the other reviews out there on the Phenom and the Frozen Transform, those are like giant printers that take up like half my desk. This is what I would consider a mid-sized printer. What I really like about the mid-sized printer is, check this out, here's some video of an entire build plate from a miniature, from a fantasy miniature tavern. I got all of the characters all of the furniture on this entire build plate, which I think is pretty stinking cool considering I couldn't get maybe a third of these items onto a standard Elegoo Mars. You can see behind here, we have dual fans. We've got another, looks like two fans on the bottom you have an ethernet port in the back and your power switch is in the back as well and this guy is super heavy. I really like the new VAT because there's these little cool handles on the side. I'm not real keen on these screws here that you remove and you gotta pull them up because there's always a chance when you're pulling these up that you're gonna drop them into the vat of resin. Now, I do have a little bit of resin in the vat here that I'm being super duper careful. So I'm going to lift this up and as you can see it's really nice because you don't get your fingers down in it but you can lift up the, the vat here. On the bottom, I don't know if you can see that on the bottom, but there are small actually screws that are screwed into the bottom and there's a couple recessed, actually there's four recessed holes in the bottom here that actually allow you to kind of fiddle it up. Oh, there it is. It's, you can see that it, the, the tray is locked in, the vat is locked in. That way your screws here, you'll know exactly where to put these on. Now I've had some people ask me, can these screws be removed? Yes, you can remove the screws from the bottom of the vat. So if you're wanting to, for some reason, have multiple vats and you want to stack them up on top of each other and you don't want to damage the FEP underneath, uh, you can remove the screws. I'm gonna leave mine because it just makes it easier to lock in. It has the same cool anodized aluminum uh, red that you'll see with the Elegoo Mars. 
the same type of you know heavy duty uh, it's mostly made out of metal this these dual rails again are super super quiet the only thing that's a little bit noisy on this is the fans I don't expect to see that change with the 4k monochrome upgrade as you can see here the the bolt size on this these monsters are on the build plate is you see the the bolt size on that is just gigantic and of course it comes with you know your it comes with your plethora of of tools here it comes with a big box of tools it comes with a scraper a metal scraper a plastic scraper a set of nippers a small allen wrench tool you have some extra bolts an extra large bolt extra small bolts a small allen wrench you have the leveling card this is really cool this is a little bit different than leveling let's say the elegant mars or the photon this is a little asmr there a little bit of uh heavy cardboard i think the problem in the past is when you level this with a thin sheet of paper uh, your prints stick really really well and as you can see here I'm showing you how easily these prints come off and I think it has to do with the thickness of the cardboard when you level so these prints I haven't had any trouble removing prints from the build plate as you can see I can just kind of wedge my uh, my paint scraper or my scraper underneath each of these prints and they're just kind of popping up beautifully here so don't really have any issue with that whatsoever. Again, it comes with some obligatory paint strainers and looks like a little graduated cylinder. So yeah, that's all the stuff that's in there, in the box. It, the box is super duper heavy. I hated to see that poor mailman walking up to my uh, walking up to my porch with that big box because it was heavy. Again, I am super excited about the new Saturn. 4k screen because you're going to get some amazingly crisp results similar to the frozen sonic mini speaking of the frozen sonic mini this is the little build plate from the frozen sonic mini you can see it's just even a little bit tinier than the elgu mars but it produces some amazing amazingly sharp details on miniatures especially fantasy miniatures speaking of fantasy miniatures i printed a ton of fantasy miniatures on this elegu saturn beta model now granted this is a 2k screen okay but check this out this is the bargast check out this dude here's a couple other fantasy miniature characters and as you can see this printer has done a fantastic job in fact this bar gas I printed it all on one build plate I mean, for you guys that are into fantasy miniatures you're gonna really be excited about this Elgu Saturn when the monochrome screen hits if if the 2k green prints things this amazing just think what it would look like in 4k so yeah double the resolution yeah this is going to be it's going to be a big game changer and for the price you really can't beat it i mean some of the larger printers the phenom and the the frozen transform they're great printers but they're gigantic they use a lot of resin and they're a little bit on the expensive side unless you're into some type of production environment or you're building a lot of cosplay type type things this guy here the elegu saturn is going to be perfect for those of you that are creating resin miniatures again this is a beta unit and elegu sent this to me to evaluate and i'm really really glad that a lot of these resin printer companies are going to the monochrome screen because number one is you're going to get the longevity of a monochrome screen is going to far outlast the RGB screens that you've seen in the past. I know I've had a photon before and the screens just don't last. Yeah, you can buy replacement screens, but why have to tear the machine down, put a replacement screen in, when you can get a monochrome screen that prints far better details and lasts three times as long? So yeah, I would highly recommend 
the Elegoo Saturn if you want a mid-sized printer for printing miniatures, printing larger items, any, any, anything that, that anything in your imagination that you could use a larger size printer. And it's not really that big. I mean, check it out. This is, this is a size comparison. Can you hear me? Am I in an echo? This is a size comparison between the, the Mars and the Saturn. Uh, I wouldn't say it's half as, half as big or twice as big, but it's not bad. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't fill up that much space on your workbench. Come on, you can find some extra space on your workbench, right? Okay, and one thing I would like to do is I want to show you where all of these crazy fantasy models came from. It's a friend of mine in Brazil. His name is Alvaro Ribeiro. Let's go check it out. So guys, I am proud to introduce you to a brand new fantasy miniature subscription site called Loot. This site uh, created by Alvaro and his team is pretty stinking amazing. It's a little bit different than what you guys are used to. I know there's probably lots of subscribers out there that uh, subscribe to other uh, Patreon type sites. Uh, Loot is going to be a little bit different. It's not Patreon, but it's very similar, but you get extra stuff. Not only do you get the STL files on a monthly basis, but all these STL files are hollowed, non-hollowed. You could get the 32 millimeter size for gaming. You could get the 70 millimeter size for painting. Talk about painting. They have a expert Marcia Georgina is one of their miniature painters. She's going to record and share full painting processes of each bundle's boss. So you're going to learn a lot of cool tips and tricks. They've got a Facebook uh, private members only where you can share the journey. Uh, what's really cool about this site is it's actually a, a story. And what I think is really cool about this is each month they will introduce new characters, new enemies, and so you have you, you basically start out with a set of heroes. And here's all the heroes and their backstory. And you've got the Silent Coin Tavern. This is your welcome pack. You get all of these goodies uh, when you sign up. And this is where the journey starts. This is where all your adventures begin. The first month is Goblin Trouble. Again, you get the bar gas, the bugbear, hobgoblins, goblins, goblin riders. Plus, you have all of your hero characters in uh, some battle poses as well. Uh, you've got Double Trouble coming up in July. I have no idea what's going to be in that pack, but it looks like some exciting stuff. There's all the miniatures down here. There's that bar gas. Uh, I think I might print the bugbear next. That is pretty cool. There's some of the objects you'll get and the welcome pack. 15 bucks a month. You know, that's that's very reasonable for what you get. You know, you get all the characters. You get the painting video. You get the welcome pack. Uh, you have other painting videos that are released during the month to show you how to paint the heroes. You have the exclusive community, plus you have the, the new bundle that comes out every month. But Alvaro has given to me 50 coupon codes, 55-0 for the month of June only. And if you use the coupon code 3D Print Farm, that's 3D Print Farm, all one word, for the discount code, you will be able to join Loot Studios for only 10 bucks a month. So that's five bucks off. And this is only limited to the first 50 folks that sign up. I'm glad you've hung out with me this long because I have a surprise for you. To celebrate hitting 10,000 subscribers, yes, that's right, 10,000 subscribers. In fact, it's up to 11,000 subscribers now. I am just overwhelmed and thankful and blessed that all of you guys have stuck with me on my journey to share my crazy hobbies in resin printing and lasers with you guys. And as a thank you, I am going to give away a brand new Elegoo Mars. That's right. I'm going to give away a brand new Elegoo Mars as a celebration of my 10,000 subscriber. Now what you have to do is go down in the links below and look for the contest. Click on the link and enter to win. 
One caveat is this is just going to be limited to the US only and it's just because of the exorbitant shipping costs that I would have to spend shipping this guy overseas. It would probably cost as much as this printer costs. Again guys, thanks for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. I appreciate each and every one of you and please go out to Alvaro Ribeiro's site loot-studios.com and check out his awesome fantasy figures. Don't forget to use those discount codes 3D Print Farm and get $5 off. All right guys, we'll see you again next time on 3D Print Farm. Bye now. Well, actually, it's a beta model of the Elgu Saturn and I assure you have seen a lot of other Pinch me. Don't go on it. Smart. Hey. Ugh. Come on. Ugh.